Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech and today I'm going to be showing you how to flash ROM on your HTC One. So let me start off by saying guys, this is going to be different than flashing a ROM, for example on your S3 or whatever other device you have. It's going to be completely different. So um, usually HTC devices need to have S off if, and if you've recently rooted your HTC One and it doesn't matter AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, International it probably has S on so that means you're gonna have to have a computer with you for some ROMs when you flash a ROM so the ROM I'm gonna be uh, using for this demonstration is renovation ROM and so basically just first install it on your phone and next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cable your HTC cable and plug it into the phone okay and once you've done that, we'll... Okay, so once you've plugged your phone in, this is what you're going to want to do. Um, you're going to want to make sure to transfer the ROM to your desktop. So first, let me get rid of all this stuff. Sorry about that. And we're going to get this right here. So you're going to go to your files and your internal SD card. And wherever you put the ROM. So I have it in my downloads and um, renovate R35. So I'm going to take that and move it over to my desktop. And so give it some time. It shouldn't take too long. And we'll just wait till it's done. And it shouldn't take too long. And so while it's doing that, um, after it's done that, we're going to have to unplug the device. So let's wait as it should finish soon. And guys, I'm going to start by saying again that this method isn't going to be too hard. Um, as long as you follow the directions, it should be very easy for anyone who does this Okay, so uh, as you can see, it's transferred, and now we're going to go back. Okay, guys, so now you could unplug your phone, and what we're going to do is we're going to enter recovery. So we're going to hold on the power button and tr power it off, okay? And that should power off the device. And in the beginning of videos, I'll be telling you guys if you have to use this harder method for the ROM or just the normal flash, because some ROMs... Uh, required to do different things. Just remember if your phone is not booting when you flash the new ROM, you might want to try this to see if that will work. So once your device is powered off, we're going to hold volume down and power button and just hold it until it boots into reco uh, uh, until into the bootloader. So there you go. Let me zoom in, zoom in a little. We're going to want to click the volume rocker down to go to recovery and click the power button. It should take you into recovery. So once you've gotten to recovery, this is what you're going to want to do next. So since we're flashing a new ROM, you're going to want to wipe data factory reset and do this twice just in case. Then we're going to go down to wipe cache portion and wipe cache then to advanced and wipe down the cache once you're done with that we're going to go to install um, you're going to navigate to where you put that ROM here's mine and I'll click install and most of the ROMs will give you a ROM options so I'm going to skip this for you now and I'll be back when it's done downloading the ROM so as you can see, I have now finished flashing my ROM. So I'm going to click Next and Finish. It's going to ask for me to reboot. I'm going to click No. Okay? That's an important step. Click No. So now we're going to click Go Back. So as you can see, I now got it back into bootloader mode. And I'm going to click the Power button right over Fast Boot this time. Now we're going to need to connect our device back and go back to the computer. 
so if you remember, in the beginning, we put the ROM onto our computer. So what we're going to want to do now, oops, sorry about that, is we're going to want to go down to our files, to your file folder of your computer, and this should come up, and we're going to go to local disk C, and when you rooted, you should have made a folder, ADB. If you haven't done that yet, just uh, go here and click a new and folder and then just name it ADB okay so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the ROM now it's right here you can see double click on it and it should open this up and what you're going to want to do at the very bottom of that it's going to say boot image you're going to want to take that boot image and go to your ADB folder Oops, right here and you're going to copy it to your ADB folder sorry about my cue and drop it there and so it should ask you since I've already changed my boot image a couple of times it's asking me um, what I want the new name so my camera is going crazy so I'm going to click move and replace right here and it should have moved it over there so now we're going to press X exit out of that and we could exit out of that and so now we're going to open up command prompt so you're going to search up command prompt on your computer so there it is right there and uh, this is what you're going to do. Oh my god, my camera is killing me. So we're going to type in a command, okay? Let me zoom in a little for you. We're going to type in cd, okay, cd slash adb. Okay, after you've done that, we're going to press enter. And now you're going to type in fast boot space flash space boot space boot dot image. Once you've done that, we're going to press enter. It'll flash it. It says finished, which is what yours should say. And uh, that's about it. So we're going to go back to our phone, which is right here. You could, um, let me take it down to our phone. We can now just uh, unplug, or actually just click, go down to reboot with your volume rocker, and then press your power button. And there you go. It should reboot fine. And that's how you flash a ROM on your HTC One on selected ROMs, not all of them. And same for kernels. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And please donate to me down below if you found this video helpful or if you enjoy all my videos. So, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.